Well, I decided to come out to this tot lot today. There's a sledding, two sledding hills out there in the background. It's down near the beach. I thought I'd come out and see what I could do. Rain stopped, so my first target, modern dime. Let's see what else we can find. I'm out with the Equinox 600 and I put on my six inch coil because I'm in a park area, kind of trashy. And I'm going to try not to dig so much trash today. Try to just shoot for good targets, see what happens. My next target, dime, 1981. Let's move on. I'll tell you what, that six inch coil is works really well for just pinpointing good high tones. That's three dimes in a row. I'm staying away from the trash today if I can help it. Well, just as I figured, a 21 solid like that, that's a sure sign of a zinker. Shield penny, let's move on. Looks like another uh, penny to me. Sure signal for one. Well, I called that one wrong. That was a solid 2122, but it ended up being a quarter, modern quarter. Yeah, can't count on anything. Could have been on its edge, could have been angled. That's why you dig it all. And here's why you always recheck your holes. Right there, something else just under the surface. And it's another quarter. Look at that. Both of them right under the grass. Let's move on. Re Recheck the hole again. We got something else here right near the surface. about there. Yeah, we definitely had a coin spill. Two quarters, now a modern penny. Yeah, we'll keep checking. Well, this signal's kind of sketchy. It's jumping all over, but it, once in a while it's chirping up there around 23. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to dig it. Just see what's going on. Well, got a solid 24, 25. 
right under the surface so I'm suspecting probably a dime or a quarter well it's maybe showing six inches down we'll see what we got and that's what it was modern dime right under the edge of the grass let's move on starting to hear a little more thunder out here again I think it's threatening on raining again but we'll give it a few more minutes there we go again between 24 and 27 I'm guessing a dime again we'll see what happens well I take that back I'm not gonna dig this the way it's hitting high like that in a big wide area that's got to be some big piece of something down there that I don't want to dig up here in the park so we're gonna move on Now there's a signal I might have to check out it's not very deep a few inches but that is a good indicator getting close to silver range in there with 24s and 25s let's check it out see what we got all right let's check this out it's in the plug well after a little searching another dime i'm really going after the dimes today which is a good thing it's better than the zinc pennies we'll move on to the next one you know i can't praise this six inch coil enough i tell you when it comes to trying to just pick good targets and pass up the bad that is definitely the way to go especially when there's a lot of trash in the ground I got what looks to me to be a penny signal 2021 the nice thing about that coil is just about as big around as I'll dig a plug so I can really pinpoint accurately with it right there Well, that's why it's critical to learn your machine, learn the tones on the machine. Because I've gotten to a point with my Knox 600 now where I can pretty much call most of the time what's under the ground. So there's another modern penny. We'll keep going. There's an example of something I won't dig. If it were a solid 13, yeah, even a 12, 13. But when it starts going into 14, 16, 17s, more than likely it's pull tabs or junk. It sure does help cut down on the digging. Uh, using this small coil too, also forces you to slow down. I mean, you, you don't get as much ground covered with each swing so you really gotta move slow which is actually a good thing you should be moving slow with a bigger coil but this actually forces you to move slower now see there's a solid 18 always now well, 17 always a debatable signal with me a lot of the times it's aluminum it could be a penny but I don't know. Today I'm not digging it. Any other day I probably would have, but today I'm just going high signals because it's going to rain here pretty quick. Well, it looks like I, uh, gave up just in time here comes the rain the park i was at it's right down 
road from the beach. So I thought I'd take a ride down here. I'll show you what it's starting to look like. Actually quite a bit of lightning out here. If you look close, you can see the way the wind is blowing the tops of the waves. So yeah, got out just in time. Maybe I'll come back out later when uh, it stops raining, if it does. started raining too much and I had things to do so thought I'd come home and empty my bag because I've been out about three four times now <laughs> the bag's getting a little full so usually about this time I'll uh, empty it out sort everything out see what we got well let's go over what was in the bag I well, we got like 25 Modern pennies. We got. Yep, there goes my camera. A dollar in dimes. Two modern quarters. Five nickels. A Chuck E. Cheese token. This is made up from. Like I said, three or four different hunts. I don't like emptying my bag every time. I usually wait till I've got a full bag. And we got all the small junk. I've already tossed all the larger pieces. Pieces of wire. Some tile. A little bit of pottery. Some old glass. Ceramic. 22 shell, a little piece of brass with a S on it. This was in a previous video. Still haven't figured out what that is. If it's some kind of a weight, I'm not sure. Uh, this was in a previous video. From a 1890 home my sister lives in. This came from the road tear up. Little scutcheon and an old spoon bowl. A couple toys, some little trinkets. But after emptying out some of the bigger junk, that's what's in there after about three hunts. We'll see you on the next one.